Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Sarah, beautiful disaster. Uh, this is actually probably gonna be one of my more positive videos, I think, actually. Um, kind of, ish. Um, so I was, <laughs> as most of you probably know, Beltane, for us, is coming up at the, uh, at the end of this month. So the 30th till the 1st. So the 30th of April until, so it goes sundown to sundown. Uh, it's a huge fire festival. It's a fertility festival. It's all about the goddess and the god getting together, getting married, uh, and creating the next cycle. And it's exactly what it sounds like. This is uh, for anybody who I'm trying to do layman's terms for. Beltane is our sex holiday. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's that's how it was traditionally spent. You would um, all of the bonds of relationships were broken for the entirety of the day, so you could be with whoever you wanted to be with. You go out into the middle of the woods somewhere. Somewhere, and you essentially screw each other's brains out until the next sundown. Um, with the purpose, of course, being to bless yourself, to bless your crops, to bless your home, and to um, uh, give yourself fertility, not just sexual fertility, not just the creation of children, which was also one of the big goals, um, but to bless yourself with abundance in all of the situations of your life. And so usually this is spent by going out and doing a big maypole dance. This is kind of a new agey, the new age paganism. Uh, so, but you go out and do the big maypole dance. They erect a, erect, haha, uh, a maypole in the center of the circle. They wrap ribbons around it and then you do a spiral dance around it to, um, well, it's all symbolizing sex. It's all a phallic symbol, right? So, um, but the idea being to, bring those good things into your life. Another thing is to jump between two bonfires so that you, so usually they would go out, they would build these huge fires and then you would walk your cattle. Now, again, this is a long time ago. You'd walk your cattle and anything else you wanted to bless through those flames. Um, flame is a, um, purifier. It's also a way to add, you know, passion and to add, um, all those things you associate with fire. That's why. <laughs> Right? It's one of our biggest fire holidays. Um, so usually there's a lot of dancing and there's people, you know, whirling fire everywhere and uh, incense and, you know, everything that you traditionally associate with paganism. Um, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful time of year. I, it's absolutely my favorite next to Samhain, which for those of you who aren't in the know, Samhain is Halloween. It's our uh the first part of the year, it's the last harvest festival. It's the, you know, it, there's a lot of, I'll do videos about Samhain when it comes up, but Beltane is a, uh, um, has a lot of connotation for me. Uh, I've never been able to celebrate it properly, <laughs> but, um, uh, so, um, for me, it's a celebration of my life, though. Um, I dedicated to the craft in Belt at Beltane uh, when I was 17 years old. Um, so, coming up on quite a bit now, actually. Uh, that was my year and a day, and then I, I, well, I did my year and a day before that, and then I dedicated at my 17th birthday, uh, or 17th birthday, blah, blah, for Beltane, um, which was in 2002. Uh, so we're talking, wow, 16 years and it feels like it just whipped by me. But, um, but then a couple of years ago, uh, more than a couple, actually in 2007, um, I kind of hit my little bit of an impasse, right? So my last suicide attempt was on Beltane, of 2007. So, um, and I lived for a lot of different reasons, I'm sure. Uh, I stopped, I got stopped from what I had decided. I decided to, um, run my car into a, uh, concrete median on the freeway when I was driving home from work. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons for that. I'm not going to go into it. That's not the point of the story. The point of the story is um, I fully believe that what happened that night happened because I had other things that I was supposed to do in this life. And uh, subsequently, I am still here. And I have not made a concrete attempt on my life since. Um, I actually made a pact with Alex when he was alive because he, he walked... So occasionally it'll cross my mind. It's not like I actually want to. It's just that sometimes I'll get so low that it's just like, it'll, it'll cross for like a second and then it's gone. But Alex made me promise him that if it ever happened like that, that I 
wouldn't for one. <laughs> I I let him know and he, you know, it was, the idea was he, we would try to get me help long before it became a problem. Um, for him, me attempting to take myself out uh, was an affront to him. It was, uh, uh, but it never happened. I mean, it, it would cross my mind. I think I can count three times, maybe four since 2007 where it I literally got to the point where I was like fuck this um but two of those times were after he died so uh, the first one was the day he died uh the second one was last right after Thanksgiving I think this last year um or right around then, I remember getting out of the shower and crying and just saying, I, I can't do this anymore. I can't. But that became more of an affirmation of life for me also because it, was, it wasn't so much that I couldn't do my life anymore. I just couldn't keep doing what I was doing. Um, I couldn't keep running and hiding. I couldn't keep pretending that I didn't feel how I was feeling. And for anybody who knows me, keeping my feelings down locked tight somewhere is kind of what I've always done. And... It became really, really obvious in that moment that it wasn't going to work anymore. So I have to be very upfront about how I'm feeling and very, um, um, I don't know, not only just upfront, but I have to be very honest with myself and honest with the people around me because otherwise it gets stuck, it'll spin, and then I make everything a thousand times worse. Um, so I decided not to do that anymore. And since then, it hasn't been a problem. Um, I do have situational depression. Unlike my twin sister, I do not have uh, clinical depression. My father suffered from clinical depression for all of his life. My twin sister does also. Um, but I have situational, which is normal. You know, when, when bad shit happens, I get low. And But the, I think the cool thing for me is that I always have this constant steady reminder in the back of my head that I've been through worse. So it's it's easier to bring myself back up. Like, I know the steps I need to take to bring myself back up. I might be a little stubborn about it sometimes, but I know. Um, so yeah, Beltane for me was a time to affirm that I'm here until I'm done. Which I think is what all of us do. But, um, you know, until the powers that be decide that I am off this rock permanently. I don't think I'm going anywhere. Um, so for me, it always comes down to not just the fertility piece, which I think is really awesome. I, I actually really love that piece of Beltane. It, I think it's very, um, a positive, brilliant thing to focus on. Um, and just to bring the things that make us happy into our lives uh, and to, to focus the, our energies on doing so, to focus our energies on the things that we want um, and the things that will fulfill us. Um, but outside of that, I, for me, what I really wanted to impart with this is that this is the time of year when I have to sit down and reflect on where I'm at, what I want and where I'm going with things. And, I don't know, I feel like things are going in a really super positive direction right now. Um, and I'm hoping that when we get down to the end of this month and we're going out and we're doing all these really super fun things for Beltane, you know, for me, it's going to be going and trying to find a, a circle to go and do the Maypole dance and stuff with. Because like I said, I don't do the other side of it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think for me right now, it's going to be focusing on the fact that... Um, I'm not afraid to be a pro to be proud of myself anymore for how far I've gotten and and I think I think there's a really super humble part of me that understands that where I'm at now is a part and product to how much support I've had um but the other thing too is that I have watched people with more support crash way harder way faster um so I think that's one, a testament to how great my circle has been, to how great everybody has been there for me. But more to that point also, I had to make that choice. I had to make that choice every day to get up and get out of bed and accept that help and to talk about how I was feeling and to really get where I wanted to go. Um, and there for a little while, it was very touch and go on whether or not I was going to go anywhere and whether or not I was going to make those types of decisions. But I'm really confident right now that the decisions I'm making about my life are 
the ones I want to be making, if that makes sense. And so this year it's going to be more about focusing on how much further I want to go and what those goals are. Um, but yeah, so I would highly suggest taking some time this month, sitting down with your goals, sitting down with your ambitions, sitting down with the things that you want in your life and focusing your energy on doing them. Um, that's what Beltane's all about. That's what the veil thinning is all about. You know, that's what, uh, the fire and the festival and then the, the celebration, that's what it's all about. So, um, yeah, enjoy yourselves. And uh, I hope as we get closer toward Beltane, everybody is doing well and the rest of this year is awesome. So I'm signing off, but have a good rest of your day, guys.